Good morning, lovely people. How are you getting on? Uh, I'm doing great. It's Boxing Day here, 26th of December. Weather's fabulous again. Um, today I'm heading to a barbecue with Andy um, around one of his friends, so that should be really cool. Um, yesterday at the beach, I when I was playing football on the beach, I tore my um, nail like down the middle on my big toes. So I just got like, a plaster, like holding it together at the minute. Also, like, I've got a lot of major tan line you can see. Like, wearing my flip flops or thongs if you're from Australia um, for so long, I just got a lot of mad tan line going on. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Speaking of like weird words in Australia, like, they call flip flops thongs. Um, peppers, so you like your green, your red, orange, yellow peppers. Um, they call them capsicum. Like, strange. Just people. I don't know why. I haven't got a clue. I'm sure there's some reason behind it, but. It's uh, very strange considering they still speak English and it's they have their own words for certain things. Um, yeah, it's very strange, but that's cool. So, gonna be a good day today, just waiting for Andy now. Oh, also, um, yesterday my watch broke. Um, it's supposed to be waterproof, but obviously it's not. But I only paid 30 quid for it, so it wasn't too bad. Whereas I paid 400 pounds for my camera and it said it's waterproof, and it turns out it wasn't. So, yeah, completely different story there. And I still need to sort that out actually. Um, still haven't sorted it out, uh, so I need to get into contact with Sony, get them to fix it. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, today's gonna be a good day, I think. Just chilling out barbecue, and it's gonna be fun. Like burgers, sausages, a lot. It's gonna be a really good day. I've um, got loads of drink and stuff, so yeah, it should be really cool. So yeah, just waiting for Andy now to come pick me up. He's doing some stuff this morning in town, um, like Boxing Day shopping and stuff like that. So. Uh, to keep them out, waiting for him, and then uh, and head over to the barbecue. Hey guys, so it is actually the next day now. Um, Yesterday was a really good evening, just chilling, uh, watching sports and drinking and stuff like that. So yeah, it was a really good like afternoon and evening. Um, didn't really film too much. I, I, I've said, I know I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Um, and when you're traveling, you meet so many new people and I don't want to shove the camera on people's faces if they don't want it. Um, so I tend not to film when I'm around new people, um, especially if they don't know that I do the whole YouTube thing and either I just whip out a camera they'll be kind of like what are you doing and like just recording them sort of thing so yeah so once I get to know people better and explain that I do YouTube I've got a YouTube channel and do daily video blogs and stuff like that then uh, I kind of slowly film more and more around them and they sort of like won't see me as a complete nut job so no but yesterday was a really good evening um, was like two games of cricket, they had like the Australian and they had uh, Perth playing. Um, and then in the evening they had like a load of um, football or soccer, if you're from places that call it soccer. Um, and they had, uh, but because obviously we're in Australia, we was watching the English Premier League, which means that this on at like midnight sort of thing, where we watched two games and I think the last game finished around about half one in the morning so and then there was another game after that but wasn't feeling it so going back to the hostel um, but no I'm not like a major uh, football or cricket fan it was just nice nice atmosphere sort of like chilling and talking and stuff like that so just enjoyed my time there so it was cool um, today I've got a, a list of things that I need to get done um, I've got my tax file number now so I need to go to the bank and give them my tax file number um, and also my phone number so I can actually activate my bank account um, and then I can actually transfer money over from my UK account um, in like one big bulk and then I can actually use my card here without the possibility of getting rejected because my travel card even here um, I've been rejected a couple of times in an ATM, um, certain ATMs won't take it, so 
yeah, um, it'd be nice just to be able to, to use an Australian account. Um, and then it's, it's a lot easier to actually uh, like get your balance and stuff because some of the ATMs here again don't show you the balance on the, your travel card. So yeah, that'd be cool. Um, what else have I got to do? I've got a load of washing to do, like an absolute ton of washing. Um, so I'm gonna get that all done. Um, I'm gonna do like, yeah, just a ton of washing. Um, and other than that, I haven't got a lot planned, um, but I know I need to get a video done, try and get a video up and stuff like that. So I was considering going up Kings Park, the famous Kings Park again, which I keep speaking about, and going down to Botanic Gardens, but we'll have to see um, sort of like how much time I've got and stuff like that. Um, after I get everything done. Also, I want to buy a new watch because I feel kind of naked now, um, now that I'm not wearing one. Even though before traveling, I didn't actually wear a watch. Um, I was wearing one for like four months and now not having one, I kind of feel naked without it. So, and it's easy just to like look at it um, if you want to tell the time sort of thing, um, as opposed to getting your phone out. Um, so yeah, see if I can find a cheap watch somewhere maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how today goes and then like, um, plan as, as we go. Bloody flies out here, it's so annoying. Um, so yeah, just heading down into town now. It's only a short walk, it's, my hostel's only like 10 minute walk, 10 minute slow walk um, into town. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's not too far. That's pretty good. Um, he's got a couple of things I've been thinking about, sort of like doing things here. Um, like so I'm kind of thinking, oh, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I said to you that I'm kind of at a loose end of uh, running out of things to do in the city, and I've just been thinking about things to do, and I've got a couple of things in mind. Um, so, yeah, be doing those over the next couple of days, I think, um, as long as nothing else props up. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a day of running around again. So I was walking down um, like the high street, and there's this like old English style like clock tower thing, and like a like draw gate, and through there, and there's like a shopping like area, which is all sort of like really old style. I'm gonna take a wander through and have a look. back at the hostel um, for a little while now done all my washing I've done like two loads that includes like my bed sheets though because um, it's not a hotel basically if you want clean sheets you've got to do them yourself you know um, so um, yeah literally just been looking at jobs and stuff like that and I find it very strange that out here um, I'm looking to do my regional work, um, so to extend my visa to a second year, um, I need to go out uh, outside the city and do farm, building work, mine work, or um, hospitality, um, like in the middle of nowhere, basically. So I've been looking at jobs and stuff like that. Now I find it's very strange that out here they're allowed to say that they only want to employ like a male or female but was back in the UK you're not allowed to do that because that's discrimination so 
yeah I find it very strange out here that they can actually do that um, so yeah just there's not many jobs about but it's gonna be as easy as finding work back home I actually put an ad up on Gumtree um, saying that I'm looking for work and I've got two replies in the space of like two hours um, one of which I'm considering the other one I'm not because a lot of the farms out here they'll give you accommodation and food but they won't pay you any money so although it's great because you live out in the outback and you don't have to pay for anything but at the same time I'd like to earn some money back um, so there's one job and there was one job that I found um, which I'm quite I'm very interested in because it's very good pay um, way up north um, but I've got to ring them and it's like quite late now so I'll leave it to tomorrow there's a few things that I wanted to do today um, I, can, I wanted to ring up Sony but they're not open um, on the weekends and I completely forgot it's the weekend today so um, yeah and also need to ring up the bank um, to sort out uh, getting my pin number and stuff like that so yeah I'll we'll have to wait for tomorrow if they're open tomorrow like the phone line um, so we'll have to see um, but yeah just I've had my dinner I actually had a nap this afternoon literally again I was just laying there and just fell asleep and then so lethargic and just like not by doing by not doing anything it's just feeling so tired all the time and I just need to get out and start doing stuff you know um, but I'm waiting till after New Year but we'll see um, so yeah thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and I'll catch you next time